I, I think his reservations about coming back to court were pretty much the same as mine about coming back to the series. I only yeah. really wanted to do it if it wasn't misconstrued as like hanging around, mm. you know? Well, um, the, the, the thing is that you, you studied uh, quite a lot, you did a lot of research. How, how yeah. does it work historically with what actually happened? Because we know that Queen Victoria and Lord Melbourne were very close. Then when Albert came on the scene, they drifted, drifted apart. She wrote for a little while and then that stopped. So how does, how does, do, do you work, work this in now? Well, they didn't just drift apart. He was kind of, he was kind of banned in a, you know, um, in so much as they really, they couldn't quite stop writing to each other. They, they just formed a habit. They were very close. Um, you know, they just liked to have a, a bit of a gossip just as much yeah. as anything else. So is and that what you've while, done? You've incorporated those, is it, is it the contents of those letters into, into uh, having Well, that's the idea, meeting, is yeah. that... And so what actually happened is that they needed to be separated. You know, like two people in class, you know, you, you kind of, you sit them apart if they can't be trusted not to kind of send each other gossip and notes. And that's what was happening. So for, for a while, kind of rather sweetly, they, they kept up a correspondence that had to be, she was encouraged to stop doing it. So there was a little bit, you know, of continuation from it. It didn't last for, for terribly long. And that's why it was important for me that we didn't push it, and we don't, beyond the bounds of, of what really happened too far. Now, know? last night, in last night's episode, you, there was sort of a few clues at the end where it was looking like he was having treatment for something, and there were some clues that maybe perhaps his health, something was going to go wrong there. Yeah, well, I mean, Melbourne, at this stage, he... he thinks there's something wrong with him, but he doesn't quite know what it is. And it's certainly not in his nature to kind of, to burden other people with his troubles anyway, let alone Victoria. Mm. So that's something that he's keeping to himself and he doesn't quite know what it is, but there's, there's trouble afoot. Mm. And, um, and what is it with you and horses? Because uh, I think the, the <laughs> most of, most of the, uh, A Knight's Tale, uh, yes. Zorro, uh, I mean, yes. with this, I mean, you what you do. Look, we've got. You won't see this. But we've got a great shot of you in a knight's tail, and now you're at, now you're on horseback uh, in uh, in Victoria. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I, I think you know. When I first came out of drama school, I just had one of those faces that people found inappropriate. Um, unless it was on a horse, which, you know, I mean, it's fine because it got me jobs, but there were so many jobs that I didn't get because of it for a long time. But so I, I mean, but I'm still blagging. It's not like I'm a natural horseman or anything. I, you I'm say just... you've got a horse face. You know, you have a face that makes you, you look confident, your horse riding it's face. It's not so much that. It's just that there, it takes a certain amount of time to become a really accomplished horse rider. It's much quicker to just to blag it and uh, because you can get far with a bit of swagger you know so actually I'm I'm not a good horseman at but all. But you got thrown but if you, didn't you? Was it in a night's tale you got thrown? I did yeah I mean that's why I'm not that scared of being on a horse because I don't think it can be as painful as I got thrown I was on a horse wearing armour and I got thrown from the horse over a hedge and onto a, into a car park. Ouch. And people were saying, oh, thank God you're wearing the armour. But actually, if you're wearing armour, wherever you land, you're landing on steel. Oh, my God, of And um, that, was, that was quite unpleasant. But, yeah, there's, um, not, there's not I many... I had to get straight back on anyway. Not many car parks in medieval times. <laughs> no, 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 it's no true. well, this, this horse found one. <laughs> and, you know, I think it wanted so, to get rid of me. You're in Los Angeles at the moment. Are you working, are you filming at the moment? Yes, I'm doing The Man in the High Castle, but we're doing that in Vancouver. So ah. later on this morning, I'm flying out to Vancouver to do. But you live there now. Are you, you, are you resident? I in live in Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. How yeah. very lovely. Yeah, I'm yeah. terribly jealous about that. Yeah, Sorry if I, if, I, if I sound. Well, you wouldn't be jealous, jealous right now because it's about 110 degrees at the moment. In, oh, we would. Trust me. So yeah, you can't see outside the window. Very great. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, thank you okay. so much for yes. talking to us. It's lovely to, uh, to, to talk to you. Pleasure as always. And really appreciate the fact you stayed up so late.